The Rapid Throwaway Prototype Model is an example of software development focusing on the use of prototypes. A quick, rough version of the software, which is a prototype, is created early in the project. This prototype is shown to users and their feedback is used to refine or rewrite requirements. The initial prototype is not part of the final product as it's thrown away after it's used to gather feedback. Using prototypes in this way speeds up understanding of requirements, which is especially useful when these are unclear or evolving. These prototypes are used early in development and help developer and users visualize how the final product might look or work. And several throwaway prototypes will be used and built iteratively until the final requirements are clear. Advantages of a rapid throwaway prototype model include that it improves understanding of user needs and requirements before full development begins. It reduces the risk of building an inefficient final product or dissatisfying the user. It encourages early user involvement, improving communication. And prototypes are usually developed fast, allowing early testing of ideas and key decision making. Disadvantages of this model include that time and resources are used on something that's just going to be thrown away. It can create false expectations if users think the prototype is the final product. Low quality prototypes may lead to bad design decisions if misunderstood or poorly analyzed, and if not properly controlled, developers might accidentally reuse parts of a prototype leading to unstable final code. This model is used to increase the speed of version development and evolve initial ideas at a faster rate than a traditional model. It's also suitable when user requirements are unclear or not well defined, such as designing for a new platform like a video game system that hasn't been released yet. And it's also suitable when end user interaction is critical. For example, user interface design for a bespoke educational app, or if experimentation is needed before finalizing ideas. So the rapid throwaway prototype model is suitable if there are unclear or changing requirements, or there's a need for strong user feedback early on in development. However, it is unsuitable if there are strict deadlines or if there's a high technical complexity with known requirements, where other systems may be more suitable.